What? Sorry, I was admiring Michaela's ability to do a French bread on herself. It is wonderful, yeah. Oh, it's so hard to do. Yeah. It's so fucking hard. I can't do that on... I cannot do that on myself. I can do that for other people, but... I've been doing it for years. Yeah. I had a roommate who, like, had her hair in, like, two French braids every night, and I was like, how do you even do that? How would you... That's so much <laughs> energy and time. <laughs> no, time? She was, like... She was so... Prepared for the world. It was like she was like, really wanted. <laughs> okay, don't associate me with that. Okay, <laughs> I, I refuse. <laughs> um, Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, we're live. Welcome to Glastrian's Greatest. This is Tales of the Witch Boy, and we're back after a hell of a cliffhanger last week. Um, <sighs> and uh, I, I'll do my best to give you another cliffhanger today. We'll we'll see what happens. But hi. <laughs> Blanket gang, blanket gang. What? Tales of the witch boy. Yes. I um, said blanket gang. Because <laughs> it's <laughs> Michaela pulling off a blankie. It's, it's Nutcrackers. Oh, that's cute. Yay! I like We're that. Sorry. Right. Blankets in the wash right now. I don't know why I'm fanning myself. I'm freezing. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I imagine Lee Shuja just like, just always fanning. I don't know how she does it. <laughs> For the cloud, I bet. Um, well, here we are in the continent of Elea, in the kingdom of Thesatra, in the city of Thesatra. New York, New York, baby. And you are here at an unnamed home. Unnamed home. At an unspecified home. With a new face and his party of protectors and a messenger hawk has just landed on the porch and delivered a message to all of you would anyone mind reading that message again because I don't remember what my brain came up with last session <laughs> uh, I don't have the exact wording does okay. anybody have some things specific or do you want my paraphrased version? I wrote down, we're going to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> we going to dinner. <laughs> uh, uh, paraphrase is wonderful. If you okay. Are able, thank you. I have outside a hawk with a message. Quote, <laughs> welcome. PLZ, come to dinner. <laughs> you have Roka. Here's the address. Heart, Shalia Yarali, heart. <laughs> that is an excellent retelling of this ominous letter that was Circle delivered. Yes, if you have a crush on me. Circle <laughs> and it's like a game of telephone here. Yeah. <laughs> it's like high school note passing telephone. Just, Incredible. Please remember, so Gatha is taking these notes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just yeah. a little more intelligently than she maybe would. Uh, would, would you like to see Thistle's notes? <laughs> <laughs> These are Thistle's notes. They're awesome. Yes! I've got the notebook because it looks cool. I love it. I it has a lot. anything in it. Yes, it does. Oh, it a... <laughs> Dear so cool. Diary, today I romance this NPC. <laughs> Dear Diary, today I bit someone's face off of their head. Mm -hmm. Thistle. And it only took me four seconds. <laughs> Heart Thistle. <laughs> In one round of combat. <laughs> um, well. I mean, I, I could just let you all play the character. <laughs> <great>. <laughs> I'll just watch this time. <laughs> um, what do you all do in this interesting moment? Now, she did say uh, it was tomorrow night in game time, right? Correct. Yeah. So we have roughly 24 hours. Yes. Oh my god. There is an address. There is a, um, yeah, so there is an address that will lead you to the city center um, where, uh, well, the, the title of the location is Yarali Estate. Okay. 
what time is it right now? Hmm. I think it's around... I think it's around... It's around 1 p.m. Well, I certainly do not have the appropriate attire for dinner, so I don't know if we should go. I feel like Broke you is all gonna be there. Just as you are. Oh. Um. Really? <laughs> yes. Um. In all likelihood, this will turn into a bloodbath. So whatever is most comfortable for you in combat, I feel like is most appropriate. Well, that's anyway. a good point. Uh, we should probably get you some shoes, though, if we're in town. No. Some, like good shoes, not good shoes like you think of good shoes, but like useful shoes. At this point, I don't feel like a change in my shoes will make that much of a difference. Maybe we you would walk a little faster. We will be joining you as well. You're coming too? Of course. You're certain you don't want to leave? Oh, no, no, no. This is important. We must find information on your mother. And he looks over at the boy, the witch boy. And uh, the boy, his name is, uh, help me out here. Jonathan? Jonathan. Um, thank Jeffrey you. Jonathan. Yeah. I made that up. Yeah. <laughs> it's not real. Jonathan with an I. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, he says, they took my mother. I have to get her back. They, they took our friend. Well, this should be an excellent opportunity for us to, what shall we say, investigate their estate and try to learn what we can and understand where they are being held captive. We should yes. definitely check it out. I agree. Mm -hmm. Uh, should we wait until nighttime? Should we split? I feel like there's a lot of ground we should cover and not enough time to do it. I agree. But there's a lot of us. Hmm. Wait, I'm trying to understand something here. Are we gonna go beforehand or are we gonna go like, you know, when they invite us? I mean, we could scout it out. What? Kind of get a little bit of the lay of the land. I certainly could use a rest. I sort of took several bear claws to the face. So. I can't say I'm a particularly good scout, so I might be more useful searching through a library to try and figure out what sort of ritual would they need these children for, or what perhaps, if anything, we could glean about the mother, wild mother's presence six so eight months ago, years ago, a year ago, I suppose. Got it. Um, so, you and the wizard want to go to the library, and this is a uh, the uh, cat folk woman. Oh, okay. Oh, the cat folk woman is the wizard. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, she's oh. She seems to be more like a rogue. Um, oh, okay. She steps up, she says, So, you and the wizard, you want to go to the library? I can scout ahead. Any of you good scouts? I'm alright. Yeah, I could join you. Uh, I'm, I'm not too bad uh, at stealth myself. What okay, do you think? Nice. I'd love to go. Lishi what Jen? was that, Jenna? Uh, her Lishi just generally curious, like, where should we make the children go? Because right now, I'm not sure if I want to give them that much agency. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, maybe Remy could go with you, Jonna. 
I mean, it, this big guy's pretty good at protecting people. I, I say, patting Gandry on the back. You seem to have several big guys of yourself, too. So. Pulls out a beer from nowhere. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, like, <laughs> Jin knocks oh, out of his hand. I can do it. <laughs> Not in front of the children, please. Gandry, you're supposed to st stop. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, no, Gandry steps up and uh, he he just kind of pats some of his gear, like some of his armor, takes his spear off the back and like, says, I'll look out for the kids. And I think uh, the other, the other large fighter, Connell. Connell the other thank large, you. the other large fighter, Connell steps in, says, "Oh yeah, I uh, I'm pretty good in a fight. I'll do what I can." This guy's such a bro. <laughs> I'll do what I can. Um, I uh, what's up, bro? <laughs> uh huh. Exactly. You're so nice though. Yes. Um. I'll He's on the rowing can. team, right? Yes. Um, <laughs> and he walks over. The question and he... is, how did he get on the rowing team? <laughs> he, he walks over and he gives Gandry like a, um, one of those clasp your hand type high five things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of those. Oh, that one. Um, and he says, "We can look out for the kids if you want." Okay, and then we can sneak around, and they can gather information. Who's left? Well, uh, yeah, y'all don't mind. I'll go ahead and join you on that sneaky mission. I'm not too bad with a, uh, not too bad in the shadows myself. I would be delighted, Katar. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I remembered Connell. Connell. I have a chart. <laughs> I love that, oh and God. I'm so thankful because <laughs> I, as a GM, <laughs> I I don't have the brain capacity. It's too many things. It's to too try many to things. Keep track of and yeah. remember long term. I don't know how. And this is a total um, uh, digression, but. Sky, I don't know how Ryan, our former DM, remembers all of the characters' names from three years ago in a three-year-long campaign, knows every single person by the back of their hand. Um, I, I don't, because, I don't get it. Because one, he's a beast, and two, I kept notes. <laughs> <laughs> Between the two of us, we got them all. With so. our powers combined. <laughs> yes. Um, I actually did take notes in that campaign. <laughs> cool. Yeah, you did. You took very good notes. Uh -huh. um, but yes, thank you, Michaela. Um, and the the little tinkerer, this inventor, gnome. Castinia? Uh, Castinia, thank you. Uh, she looks up and says, Oh, uh, where should I go? What what should I uh, what should I do? Why don't you tell us, ma'am? Well, I mean, I'm pretty flexible. I can do whatever works best for the group. Um, I'm a pretty good fighter. Hmm. Are you better at, uh, fighting and sneaking around than you are at, um, reading books? I can do both. Um, yeah. I mean, I got my little pack here. She pats the that's her back. Um, and do you want to see? I can show it to you. Maybe it'll help you decide. Uh, you know what? I would. I think um, now. Correct me if I'm wrong, everybody. But um, I think it would probably be helpful if you um, use that tinkering brain of yours to uh, I don't know, maybe figure out something that could help us out of a trap because we're clearly going to be walking into a trap at dinner tomorrow. So if you can think of you know, make a little distraction device or or something like that. That'd be cool. Uh, yeah, I can do that if you'd like. Sh sure. Anybody have objections or other ideas? How good are you with architecture blueprints in the sort? 
floor plans? Oh, I'd say I'm I'm very good, actually. Um, I, I, like... I went to the university about three years ago. Well, I graduated three years ago with honors, actually. Um, I was over at the university and um, well over in the other Elven Kingdom to the to the to the to the west um but i mean it was it was wonderful and and i was uh you know i, I was a top student uh i didn't study architecture but i studied a bit of engineering and you know so i know my way around a blueprint um maybe perhaps not for the whole time since you seem to have other skills it might benefit us for you to my brain my jenna's brain uh, <laughs> to to accompany the scouting mission. Yeah, do you think you could uh, could you draw a bru- blueprint based on the descriptions that we could observe for you? Do you think you could make oh, us a sure. map? Oh, sure. I mean, well, I, I can't promise the accuracy, but I mean, I could give you a, a decent idea of what it probably looks like inside, you know, depending on where the walls are, where the doors are, where the... Uh, where, what the floor plan looks like, I, I could give you a decent idea, but I'm not sure I could get you the exact layout of the interior of the mansion. Um, but d- does that help? Mishija, do you think that would be helpful? I think it'd be helpful if she went with you. Okay, well then, yeah, join our team. Okay, um, armor or, or no armor? What kind of armor is she wearing? Uh, she takes her backpack off. Does it just all plank to the floor? Are armor or or no armor? And you see a uh, backpack that looks like it's made out of entirely of brass. Like metal? Brass? Mm -hmm. Is it a hindrance? Like, does it look like Oh, here I'll, I'll I'll show you. Don't don't worry about it. And she, uh, she she pulls it in front of her, and she clicks a little button on one side, and then she pulls a lever down on the other side, and her backpack pops open into this like six foot tall humanoid figure, and she climbs up inside of the armor, and she's now standing at about six foot two. Um, and she is like holding a yeah she's holding like a, a melee weapon in one arm it looks kind of like a um, like a mace um and she has a shield in the other hand that's the coolest thing that i i've ever seen in my entire 75 years of life she pushes her glasses up well thanks it took me a couple years to make Wow. Wow. Uh, I, no arm, no armor? What do you think? This all, I, it, it, Um, I guess my answer to this question was, if you could quantify this on a scale of zero to ten, uh, and eleven is a valid answer, uh, how loud is this? (laughs) Uh, it's pretty loud. Maybe bring him tomorrow. Oh, okay. I can do that. Maybe not today. It's it, it really freaking awesome, but also very loud. So maybe since stealth is kind of the theme of the game today. Okay, so she yeah right she now. yeah she steps off the um, armor and she goes to one of the legs and she twists a knob like she's winding something up and she lets it go and it starts winding and as it winds it just slowly compacts back into a backpack and she puts it on that's so cool um slightly related question what would happen if someone was in that when you did that i'd imagine they would get crushed good to know Hmm. very good to know uh heidi uh, what do you think you're gonna do? Cattle. Thank you. Oh, she's coming with us. I, I think I I'll would... join you on the scouting mission. Excellent. Well. Uh. Alright, is, um. Is the estate. You said it was like, uh, in the city center, right? Yes. So. I imagine we'll know when we get there, but is it, like, surrounded by walls, or is it... 
gates. Like gates, okay. Um, but so we could see it. We can see it from the outside without necessarily being like su- super suspicious. Um, I think you could see some of it without being super suspicious. Um, and okay. we can kind of explain more when you actually get there. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, uh, I, I'm ready when when everyone else is. Wonderful. Um, Where shall we meet back here? Midnight. You are a step ahead of me, my dear. I was just going to ask what the plans might be for when we are finished with our own individual tasks. We should get a good night's rest. Um, actually, yeah. Thistle, if you'd like, I think it would be more um, useful if we, uh, uh, you know, went at nighttime to look around for our mission. So if mm-hmm. you need to rest. Yeah, I could use that. <laughs> you all have like a bed or something here? Oh yeah, there's um over back, you know, the back room. Um there, there there's a there's a bedroom over there. It's next to the kitchen. Just Didn't we have the yeah. the Wilder of Clarth? Oh yeah, I think he's he's in there right now. <laughs> um that's a really good question. What are we going to do with this person? Are we keeping him alive? <sighs> I mean, he's heard everything. But we also did like, he hear they anything know they didn't already know. Yeah, the house is calling. So I feel like we don't have to kill him. Um, Lishija, uh, what do you think we should do with him? I don't know. Um. Hmm. I feel at this point, whatever we do with him is moot, considering we have our location exposed. I can't think of anything that we've said that they wouldn't already know. Could we find a new place, maybe? No, I don't think that will make much of a difference at this point. Um, Okay. um, I don't expect them to be ambushing us, since they've done all the work to give us an invitation. They're just kind of waiting for our next move. Um, On that note, I don't have the jurisdiction to pass too extreme judgment on him due to my uh, we'll say promises to my god. So if you want to do anything further, I can't necessarily advise you on what it is. You may ask. I cannot advise you. I want to talk to him real quick. All right. What would you like to oh, ask? Hi. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, we talk um, to talk to Kekshin or or talk to the the guy. No, no, the guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so I just walk into the room. <laughs> I'm assuming Gandry's like been keeping guard this whole time because mm-hmm. if I remember correctly, that's what we actually like made him do. Yeah. yeah. Um, guy's still in there. He's still in there. Mm-hmm. He's lying on the bed, tied to a chair. We shoved okay. his ears, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll take out that much so at least he can hear and see me and talk to me. Okay. But I will not undo his restraints. Hey, how's it going? What do you want? Um, I want to know if your employers have. Uh, any specific plans, and I want you to be honest. I don't know that you really have anything to lose, I guess, except your life. And I'm a little undecided on whether or not we're going to let you keep that. But if you know anything, that could be useful. The boy that you travel with. 
There are others like him. <laughs> yeah, we we figured that one out. He's. He has great potential. And in the wrong hands, in your hands, he has the potential to take away the freedom of all people who wish to worship others. Like anything that's not his god? Or anything in general? I don't need to explain more to you. You'll never understand. Try me. I'll sit down right in front of him. Why? On the bed. Why should you... Why should I try? Well, you seem to... think that I can't understand it, or that I won't. But, you you don't really know me. I don't really know you. If you want Remy so bad, it'd be nice to know. Very well. Do you know what it's like to grow up in squalor, in poverty? Do you know? I grew up with literally nothing for almost all of my life. So you do. And pretty much no one. So take this a step further. You grow up thinking that the All-Mother is there to watch over you and protect you and be your greatest champion, to usher in an age of enlightenment for the people who live around you, the people you love, And all the natural deities who work with her and under her. They go through the cycle of death and rebirth, carrying those who you love from one life to the next. And you sit there and you watch it happen over and over and over again. You know what that's like? I think I know something of that, yeah. And do you know what it's like? See this happen. And have a man of faith come to you and promise you that someday you will be rewarded for your patience. That the All-Mother will come to you and grace you with her presence and treat you like the child of a deity that you are. And so you devote your life to her. And over and over again, you see her fail you and take away those who you love. And as the years pass, you lose faith that she actually cares for the ones who are like you. You lose faith in the fact that she wants you to live a life that you enjoy. A life where people care for you and where you can give that same care back to them before they die. Do you know what it's like to see that taken away from you again and again and again and never have the opportunity to truly live? Well. Looks like you and I have different definitions of living, but... She stands for a cycle of death 
and rebirth that takes the people we love out from under us forever and ever and ever. We will never know them again. Whereas I stand for a deity who will keep them here as they are, allow them to live their life into undeath, and continue to build those relationships forever with the people around them who they love. Now what is so wrong about that? Thistle's just going to sit and quietly, not not even saying anything, just observe for a bit. And he, go ahead. Keep staring at him. After maybe thirty seconds, he calms down a little bit, and he like, you'll never understand. And then he like lowers his head back down against the pillow. No. Where you're coming from, I think I understand. But, uh, I don't agree with you. He doesn't respond. Interesting. Thistle gets up. Closes the door behind her. Also, Sky, can you turn your, your gain up just a little bit? We can hear you, yeah. but it's a little bit quiet. Yep, there you go. Thank you. Yeah. Are there anything interesting, Thistle Branch? Well... Only that he and I have completely opposite views on life and death. He, I explain to them, and I think I will, I'll repeat as much as I remember, and then I think I'll, just to keep things moving along, and then we'll end with something like, you know, I was raised to trust that cycle. Yeah, sure, there's exceptions. <laughs> I'm looking at one, I say, kind of pointing to Sagafa. But the cycle's there, and I don't know, it's always kind of brought me comfort. Not the taking of life, but knowing that someday you'll move on to something else, and that you don't know what it is, even. There's something still unexpected and unexplored out there. It's a part of nature, and... I guess I've spent long enough by myself in the forest to have made that a part of me. I don't know. I don't agree with him, though. Death I don't think that's for anyone. I will say his sense of entitlement is astonishing, though I'm not surprising. They must be paid really well. Hmm. Oh, I doubt it. <laughs> it's a dismissiveness that got me. It's a little cult-like, isn't it? <laughs> Very much so. Yeah. yeah. I... This is not my best roll, but I'm going to roll an occultism here. 18. Am I familiar with anything around where I'm from? Or something maybe in my druidic training, in my youth, that would have centered around the rejection of death? Uh, I mean... Yeah, not really. I mean, it, it's kind of one of those unpopular opinions that that you know every every um, every not every uh, random people now and then might might bring up as like a topic for debate. Um, mm -hmm. And undeath exists, 
Uh, it's not necessarily the most common thing, but it's 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 not uncommon. Um, <clears throat> and but but for someone to embrace the idea of undeath as an ideal, uh, as someone to embrace the idea of turning undeath into a way to escape the living cycle of of mm -hmm. rebirth here on Galesrian. That is very. Uh, it's it's an, an maybe a new motivation that you've heard. Like most people who are undead don't become undead by choice um, mm -hmm. on this world. The and consent of it. Yeah. what's that? Sorry, I just like the consent of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't become undead mm -hmm. by choice, and um, many of them learn to love it. Many of them become corrupted by that right by that uh, by becoming that but not many people choose to do that mm -hmm. because there is this like overwhelming sense of respect for the natural world here on Galesrian mm. um, and with the deities having quite literally like like they are demonstrably real um, and knowing of that succession that they succession from death into new life that, that they facilitate um, most people are, are very supportive and respectful of the natural world and that mm -hmm. cycle. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But it does feel culty. Yeah. Big cult vibes. <laughs> Stories of trying to survive death have existed for millennia. Right. At least he just says this off, just like offhandedly. Um, though. Hmm. On the chance of I'm being blasphemous, I am... It is surprising to me how little he seems to consider his own agency within the situation. Of course, the gods have very many powers. They grant us so many gifts, but there is a reason why they need worshippers and they ask for witches. If they could do all of these things on their own, why wouldn't they? Hmm. Stan to say he could have done more, if you ask me. The thistle is is unusually quiet and pensive here for a moment. It's not really her style most of the time. Uh, she's going to go sit by a window for a bit. What does the weather look like outside? Uh, it's a nice day. I mean, there is some sun that's shining through the clouds. Um, mm -hmm. It looks cold, and you've been outside. It, it is cold here in the northern part of the world, and I believe mm -hmm. it is approaching winter. Um, and Winter is coming. Yes. Um, Interesting. Yeah. Interesting that you would say that. What's that? It's interesting that you say that, I'm just saying. Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, and it is a... Yeah, like, it, it's it's chilly outside. Um, and still nice. I mean, the leaves are... have Many mm -hmm. of the leaves have fallen to the ground, and so the cobblestone streets are littered with bright orange leaves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cold, but sunny, cloudy. Yeah. No clouds. So she'll just sit by the window and look at the clouds go by. Mm -hmm. Uh, Thistle Branch, are you going to be staying here for the time being? Yeah, till the mission. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I need um, to rest. Well. Hmm. I will start heading out. I don't want to lose any daylight. 
If I, I may come after midnight, um, because there's a spell I'm thinking I could use, but I can only, it takes a few hours for me to recommune with Kexim, so. Uh, whenever you have a moment with, with them, if you have time for like a personal, totally unrelated question, uh, let, let me know when, when a good time is. All right, we may have some time before the mission, but we'll see. Okay. All right, and she'll just sit watching the clouds. Uh, Li Shijia, you were gonna go to the the library? Was that library, right? the records, whatever this city has. Okay, well, I want to find a bookstore, so um, oh. I'll I'll walk with you until we get to a a, a bookstore. All right. Um, are you going to be perusing alone? Uh, I mean, unless... Uh, well, I don't think it's safe for Remy to roam around. Um, um, I'll be fine. I feel like you should have some sort of a buddy. <sighs> okay, uh, K- Castinia, will you accompany me to the bookstore? Well, what's that? Or Qatar. Anybody. Does anybody want to go to the bookstore with me and just come right back? It's just a quick errand. Oh, my dear, I will gladly join you at the bookstore. Oh, but Lishija, are you not going also to the library? Yes. Oh, so I... perhaps the thing would be fit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, someone else you should You were going to go to the library, right? Oh, I was, yes. I love a good bookstore, though. Um, but I did promise Lishija that I would attend uh, at, at the library, and so I will be joining her. Um, but, uh, hmm, what shall we say? Uh, Katar, would you mind joining the goth over at the bookstore, please? Well, uh, I think I will. Thank you so much. Pleasure, ma'am. Tips his hat. <laughs> I want to tip my bag. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... A human, a gripply, a halfling, and a lizard folk head out into the street. And walk into a bar. And walk into a bar. <laughs> Get attacked at the bar. <laughs> um, Thanks for joining us, everyone. And only half the party hit their head on the bar on the way through. <laughs> yeah, because the rest of us walked right under it. <laughs> Pretty low bar, if you're asking me. Oh. <laughs> Uh, like have a wonderful <laughs> night. Bye, everybody. God. No. <laughs> um, wh- while we've ground us ourselves to a screeching halt here, real quick, uh, am I resting for the night by staying here, or am I just going to have to risky surgery myself back up to full every couple of hours? I mean, stuff? if you want to sleep for eight hours before you go on your mission, it's like, what, one 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 thirty p.m. now? Um, yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. This yeah, will do that. Sleep. How much hit points do I regain again? I believe you oh, gain I your. Yeah, I think you gain your con plus your level. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. Is there also not a question Thistle asks very often? Is there a bath or a shower here? <laughs> uh, there, there is. Yeah, uh, All there's right. like a. Cool. There's a bath that you can use. Cool. She will do that first and then go to bed. Yeah. Not next to the random crazy person. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, many of the people who... Um, many of the other party have, like, set up their bedrolls out in the living room area. Just remember, mm-hmm. this is, like, kind of like a one-bedroom apartment type deal. Yeah. It's like, it's like college dorm hosting guests kind of thing. Yeah. So, like, six people all sleeping in one room. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fun. All right. Sounds good. Um. Don't tell the RAs. So Sagafa and Qatar walk with Lishijia and uh, oh gosh, what is his name? Siviril. Thank you. Siviril. Siviril. Over toward the uh, 
the marketplace area. And Sagafa, you do stumble upon upon a few bookstores. Um, you've got one that looks to be kind of a has like a, a red storefront with golden writing. Um, let me go ahead and pull up a name here. Let's see. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to come up with names. You're good. I, if it helps, I, um, so Gaffer's mission is to find, um, a book or a journal of some kind, um, kind of to start her own sort of religious studies. Oh, okay. We seem to be having kind of a lot, obviously, the Pantheon is important, um, but as we're going through this, I think I'd like to kind of take notes about what I learn as far as, like, the All-Mother, her relationship with the witches, you know, how the whole witch thing works, the different gods, their personality. Like, I want to take notes. Um, basically. So, if there's, like, a, a, a book on religion and or some kind of journal that I could start, that's what I'm after. Okay. You do find a shop that um, might cater to something like that, um, or might have a book that could get you started. Um, <clears throat> and it doesn't have actually a an interesting name. I think this one is just a rundown looking storefront that just says books at the top. Um, and as you walk in, you know, it's a wooden door that has been painted yellow, um, but the yellow is long, um, long weathered, uh, and well weathered, I guess you would say. Um, lots of chipped paint, and you enter, and a little bell rings as you walk inside. Um, and you hear a woman's voice. Coming! I'm on my way! Oh, take like, your time! You hear like a little click-clack of heels walking down the uh, wooden floor. And turning the corner from one of the stacks of bookshelves, uh, you see a brow woman. Um... Who has long white hair that goes down to the middle of her back and it is kind of decoratively laced with flowers and um, like uh, like leather strips of leather that are kind of braided into her hair um, and she says whoa what can I do for you? Hello. Welcome to my shop. Hello. Uh, wow, your hair is magnificent. Um, hi, Thank I, you. Just, I just wanted to find um, some information and uh, uh, books on um, perhaps the, the gods. Uh, oh. Local, uh, local ones are cool, but really I kind of am, am going broad if, if you have anything like that. Oh, of course, yeah, we, we have a whole section on um, historical accounts of, uh, you know, different interactions people have shared with the deities. Uh, we have a section on, uh, of course, that's a small section, but uh, we do have a section on, um, just in general, you know, books about how best to follow the uh, guidelines of various deities. Um, I believe we have a spell book here, here, 
or, or a, a spell book or two here and there um, related to common spells that you know you might see uh, a spellcaster use from a uh, who, who follows a certain deity um, and uh, I could show you to one of those sections if you would be interested or all three of them uh, I think primarily the the second one with the the information but i'm i'm definitely interested in personal accounts too um oh, wonderful yes uh if, if you'll follow me and she just starts walking down the hallway turns into uh like a small section and at the top of the section is labeled um religious accounts um, well, this is the first section that I told you about, uh, and then just right next to it over here, um, and it's a much larger part of the bookshelf, is a, um, a section that is labeled, um, anathemas and, what are the, what is it called? Ana uh, anathemas, I guess we're gonna go with that, um as like guidelines for how to be the best follower that you can and then the third section um i'm blanking what i said uh it's okay because i don't need that um i would i'm basically qatar i'm on the lookout for um personal accounts with um well if anybody has any personal accounts or information on um and then um or any dark darker um experiences with the gods and i'm gonna come over here and try to find um just a, a general knowledge book on on all the gods and um you know proper practices oh, can well. i find both of those I, I would. I'll, I'll keep an eye out. Yeah. Um, Qatar looks a little distracted. What's going on there, buddy? What? Oh no! I'll, I'll get right on it. He's right, like, well, gives a gives a little look over to the lady. <laughs> oh. Oh, you want you want me to talk to her for you? <laughs> I'll do that. Oh no! no do you no. want a flower? Take a flower. Here, oh, give her no, a flower. I'm, I'm quite all she right, Miss Thank you, you go. very Take much. I'm, I'm doing, go. doing quite all right. But thank, thank you. You've activated Sagafa's <laughs> wingman mode. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> um, you just see the like little ears perking up. <laughs> 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 I message him. We may die tonight, so you might as well try. <laughs> Oh no. Why you gotta do that, Miss Lucidia? YOLO. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> Jeez. Hey, Sagafa, you got a. You got a good group of friends here, you know that? Oh, I. I, I, I learn more and more every day. Sagafa, I'll, t I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll be right back, okay? Do you want a flower? Take a flower. I'm gonna shove one in his hands. <laughs> Some nice uh, greenery to go with it. <laughs> um, he, he takes the flower. He walks Just over to like the size of your head. He walks over to this drow woman, um, mm. and you kind of hear the uh, the conversation from afar, but it's it's a little muffled. Rishija has an ability where, as she, if she can see someone's lips, she can automatically <laughs> know what they're saying <laughs> through the shop window. <laughs> I'm like, Lisa has been away from the court for so long, she's dying for gossip. <laughs> um, so he is, yeah, this lizard folk man in like, really this like debonair looking like Wild West outfit. Um, he's got this cowboy hat on um, and uh, like a, a button, button up shirt that's unbuttoned about two buttons down um, and sleeves rolled up tucked into these slacks um, that are a little bit loose fitting um, and I'm gonna slow down <laughs> <laughs> okay beefcake 
<laughs> is he a beefcake? No, he's got to have that he's, thing. He's, he's pretty tall, at? and he's, he's like, pretty muscular, right? Um, and he has a, you know, he's got his pistol holstered at his belt, um, and he's wearing, like, those those cowboy boots, right? That got the little spurs on the back. Um, oh, and so, better. total... Right, total Wild West uh, love scene, I guess. He walks up, and he pulls out the flower, he said. Well, uh, I do think you are mighty attractive. Um, and, uh, <laughs> please excuse me for being so forward, miss, but, uh, I would really love to, uh, take you out on, well, take you out for dinner sometime in the next, uh, oh, what do you say? Eight to eight to nine hours or so. <laughs> Lisa has her fan out and she's talking behind it. She's furiously transcribed, telling everybody this word for word. Sybaril <laughs> is paying way too much attention. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you see her take the flower, but the back of her head is to Lisa. So Lisa, you can't see her lips move. Um. But Scott, you are in the shop, correct? Mm-hmm. What is is everybody in the shop? Not me. Not not you. Lisa, are you outside? I think I'll we'll tell you all about it. Okay. But I, I I was trying to get a good view, but she turned around. <laughs> um, and... Now, by telling everyone, Lisa, what is the range on your message? Because if this is reaching Thistle Branch, I would like to begin dashing towards the shop. <laughs> <I'm kidding>. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you no, she's asleep. Shower. She's out by now. <laughs> yeah, you're you take dreaming her... about like this weird wild west romance. <laughs> There's a lizard folk in it for some reason. <laughs> um, Pretty sexy. He he hands her the flowers. She takes it. Uh, and Sagafa, you hear her say, "Oh, well, I'm I'm very flattered. Thank you. I uh, I I suppose." dinner wouldn't wouldn't hurt um uh I, 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 please excuse me nobody has ever been quite this forward with with me in, in my shop before I, I i do apologize i oh, she's working here fuck <laughs> um, and he like he gets a little flustered like, oh my well ma'am i am so sorry i did not mean to uh catch you at, at work, I just, you know, I saw an opportunity to, to meet someone just as gorgeous as you are, and uh, well, I didn't I didn't want to miss that opportunity, so, uh, well, I, yeah, and, and they, they agree. Um, turns out her name... Eight to, eight to nine hours, gotta, <laughs> gotta get make those reservations now. <laughs> oh, what is her name? Yeah, let's go with, uh, these names are horrible. Uh, her name is Jocelyn, um, and she is excited about this potential date. And Katara, or she seems excited. Uh, Katara walks back. Oh well, uh, excuse me, Miss Scotland. I do apologize for the uh, my distraction. Uh, what, 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 was it, what was it that we're looking for? And he kind of gets back to helping you look. Well, uh, mm, uh, uh, you were looking for um, personal accounts over there, and oh, right, right. Um, I was looking for uh, a a uh, low key incognito high five. <laughs> he uh his tail kind of lightly touches your hand and he gives you a little <laughs> wink and then uh he goes back to looking at the books <laughs> yes um, all right yep. Lishija looks really casual outside but you hear a message in your head like, what happened i didn't hear half of the words that she said because she turned around uh i will give an absolute full account uh she <laughs> she uh, was actually really excited, and um, message expires, sends a new message, 
And then, um, just <laughs> and then, and then uh, he apologized for asking her out at work. Good. And then she said that it was fine, and they were actually really cute. And I'm pretty sure they both blushed, and they're getting dinner tonight. Oh my goodness. Well, they have so little time. You better book it. Especially if they want to do anything afterwards. Let me know if you see anything on the way to the library. <laughs> Will do. Um, okay, you find the books. <laughs> you, you find the books. Um, you find a very, like... Uh, it's like... A... What's, what are those, like something guide for dummies or whatever um oh uh is it yeah, religion like, for like, dummies religion <laughs> kind of, it's, yeah. version of religion it's, for dummies it's it's not quite that like corporate um um no it's it's not quite that corporate it's more so um imagine like just a, a fairly thin book um, you could... Like a brochure? No, it's not quite, not, not like a brochure. Um, probably about like... Booklet? Half an inch thick. Um, an inch, yeah, probably like an inch thick. A pocket guide! Right, yeah. Um, and it has general information about each deity. Um, with lots of artwork that, um, someone has drawn in there to describe um, different things that are important to these deities, different things that are meaningful about these deities, um, different things you would want to know if you were worshipping them, different information about different cultures that worship those de deities, etc. Um, and kind of why people worship them, um, and in looking through this whole book, you don't see anything on Bethar. Nothing like, yeah, nothing immediately pops out at you. Uh, do you still want the book, though? Yes. Okay. I do. Okay. Um, did Katar find anything about maybe negative, uh, negative experiences with the gods so he's give me a flat d20 a luck check twelve twelve uh he looks around and he sees like information about you know different stories that people have had or experience uh, regarding experiences that they've had with the deities and while some of those stories seem unpleasant um, and oftentimes like the, the person who experienced that in their account they'll go on to explain oh this is what I learned from this unpleasant experience with this deity I learned, you know, how to be a better person, or I, I learned um, how to, um, I, I learned an important lesson about myself, or about how to treat the people around me, um, and in, in many of those accounts, people are admitting that they had done something wrong. Um, in one of those accounts, you see a reference to... Um, or I guess Katar sees a reference to the All Mother um, who punished someone and the person was still not reflective um, didn't really seem to learn any lesson just kind of wrote this account and um and described that, like, the All Mother had singled them out, and that the All Mother had um, made a mistake in punishing them, and that really they were they were right in the beginning. Um, and 
they didn't really seem to show any growth throughout the process. I think in reading more carefully, you find that, like, while the situation was kind of a gray area, um, this person could have done a lot better. This person could have really learned something, grown, um, and so you don't really find anything specific to what you were looking for, but you do see evidence that someone, at least, doesn't regard the deities, or, or doesn't think of the deities in high regard. Is there... Uh, is there an author's name on there? And, um, by chance, does there happen to be one of those little author photographs on the back cover hmm. that shows what they look like? Yeah. Um, so the author is a, an elven man. Um. And... His name is Benrin, F-E-N-R-A-N. Do cloud. Oh, Benrin he Do Cloud. Like a frick, but he has such a cute name. <laughs> I could have Do gone I... with Carmiar Halfenistash, <laughs> which is another fantasy name generator up here. Gesundheit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. I can't believe you were able to read that. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah I saw Benrin Do Cloud in concert once. This... <laughs> Sorry, we keep making this joke. <laughs> it was so good, though. <laughs> it fit so well. Um, it's like an indie artist name. Yeah. It, it is so much. Or like a, I don't know, like an all-girl band that just like yeah. rocks ridiculously hard. Um, it's like Viking Fairy Corps or something. <laughs> what is the... Nah, never mind. I had a joke, but it, it left my brain. Continue, please. Uh, it's Benrin, that's not a, a famous person by any means or, or anything like that. Not that you know of, but you can give me a society check. All right, well, it's worth a shot. Society! 11! I mean, they rolled a net, too. <laughs> yeah, you don't really, um, no, you don't, you don't think you know who this person is. Okay. Uh, well, Qatar, um, I, I would like this one. It's got a lot of information on there, and I think Mishija can teach me how to put more paper in here, and maybe, uh, I can add my own notes. Um, if you don't mind, I'd like to stop and ask, uh, your date, um, about this Fenrin Dewcloud person, but I don't think we need to take this with us. Oh, well, well, all right, let's go ahead and do that. All right. Yeah. Um, I walk up to the counter. Excuse me, Jocelyn. Um, I do you happen to know anything about an author by the name of Fenrin Dewcloud, mm. or any of his associations? I, I don't think that I do. No. Uh, do you know which which piece of work you're referring to? Uh, yeah. There was an account uh where he described having an encounter with the. All mother, but um, he didn't particularly agree with her methodology. To put mm, it in, I understand. Uh, I do think I know which piece of work you are referencing. I um, I don't know much about the author, however, <clears throat> I do believe that they live here in Thesatra. Otherwise, I'm not certain how their work would have ended up in my bookstore. I, I, I don't mean to be judgmental, but I, I don't think they're a well-known author, and um, therefore I don't think that their work is being distributed widely. It, yes. Um, shared across the world um and and so i i i would not be surprised if they live here and i know that uh 
Dew Cloud is is a an elven or drow name, depending on what family. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if you would be able to track them down if you wanted to. Oh, it was more just a, a general curiosity. It's rare that you come across someone who's um, so open about their um, less than positive experiences with the gods. So I, you know, I was just curious about the, the gentleman. Um, but uh, thank you. Um, I, I would like to buy this book. Um, what do I owe you? Oh, um, well, so for this book, I, I think I'll go ahead and charge you seven silver, please. Okay, yeah, absolutely, no problem. I'm gonna plop seven silver on her table there. Actually, I'll plop eight silver on her table. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I, I, I appreciate that. Of course. We're local businesses, you know? Yes. Um, and that is... That this is message all. has been brought to you by the Local Business Council of I Philestra. Pesatra, <laughs> 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 <Sasha>, dang it. <laughs> I think you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> um, yes. Sorry to interrupt. That's all for me. Okay. I just wanted to get that book so that I can start taking my notes and uh, maybe think a little more about. Because if this guy is publishing this stuff locally, and it wouldn't be a surprise if perhaps he worked for the the Wilders or the Yarlies or somebody. So I just kind of wanted to see what I could find out there. But I'll I'll, I'll send Lee Street all that that information by a message and then um, I'll tell Katar I'm ready to go home unless he wants to hang out. Oh, well, uh, thank you. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get back to the uh, get back to our little hideaway and uh, freshen up a bit before I come back for my little date tonight. Uh, miss and he looks at uh, Jocelyn. It was a pleasure to make your acquaintance, and I look forward to seeing you. I'll go ahead and come by around, what do you say, uh, around 6 p.m., does that sound about right? And she, uh, just nods and kind of brushes her hair behind her ear a little bit. Um, <laughs> she, she kind of gives him a coy little smile, and, uh, they part ways, and, uh, he walks you back to your little home house lair lair yeah <laughs> secret lair thank you for Plot your time twist. you're the villains Mwaha. i mean right. this old already knows that so <laughs> we've been almost indiscriminately killing yeah <laughs> mm. Um, yeah, I have been keeping track of how many people we've killed. Would y'all like to know that number after the session? <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, Lee Shija? Yep. You and Sivaril head toward the library. What are you looking for? Um, I want to open this up to the group. Um, in case I miss something. Um, because my notes aren't the most comprehensive here. But... I wanted to know if there were like, um, uh, religious, it's not the word I want, but it's the one I have, like methodology, um, occult methodology, myths in general, in regards to children, but also to the all mother and more general research into anything that happened. What was the timeline again? Um, oh, six like six ago. months ago. The six storm. Six. It was like it happened. It was like uh, yeah. It was like six. To, oh God, my notes. It was like oh yeah. It was within the past year. Um, Eight maybe months. Five, ago. five, six months ago to a year back. There yeah, I have in the channel between Elia and Opion, there were storms and whirlpools eight months ago, which would have been about the same time Remy and Johnny both got their powers. Mm. Okay. Um, okay, so you are looking for um, <clears throat> information 
events that may have happened around six to eight months ago, within the past yes. year, potentially. Uh, can you remind me, was there anything else that you're looking for? I also want to see if there's anything about architectural history, especially okay. of this area, especially of what was built here, what was previously built here, tunnel systems, like this is where the crypts used to be. <laughs> this many people were buried here in the plague of blah, 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 that sort of thing. She's digging into the most boring possible things. <laughs> Cool. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying so hard. Take. So. Um, I also want to mention something because I'm not, this might, I don't know how this interacts with how you interpret it. Mm -hmm. Um, I wanted to rearrange my spells. Because mm -hmm. there's one I wanted, I was considering using. It's called hypercognition. And the idea is that, I'll read the description. Um, you rapidly catalog and collate information relevant to your current situation. You can instantly use up to six recall knowledge actions as a part of casting the spell. Um, and I was wondering if that would be something I could do and if it would be useful in this situation. Because I don't know how you're going to adjudicate me doing this. Yeah, I think that's a really good idea. Um, I like that a lot. So please feel free to use that. Um, is that something, do you need to roll those six knowledge yes. checks? Okay. Um, so things that I would say might be good to look out for um, in terms of what you're rolling uh, would be any lore checks mm -hmm. for the area. Um, like if you know any like local lore, um, well, I think typically with lore skills, it's it's specific to a, a location. Oh, sorry. Real quick. I also want to do local newspaper clippings within okay. the past year of the Yarlais. Got it. Okay. So society is going to be something you can roll. Um, I would say that nature could be an option. Um, arcana would be an option. Uh, I would say occultism could be an option. Uh, religion could be an option. And any skills that are relevant lore skills that you think might apply. Um, so those are kind of things you could try and I could give you information that is specific to each of those depending on what you roll. Um, okay. Before I launch, anyone have idea suggestions? Um, would you have asked before everybody left? Yes. Okay, then uh, I would have been present. And yeah, um, well, I, I guess this is maybe a good time then to bring it up, but you remember how like a week or so, a couple weeks ago, we were talking about the thing that we found out about my grandmother, right? And this like sort of afterlife intervention kind of thing. Um, that's actually what I was going to ask Kexen about, but you know, we can do that later, but maybe looking up known methods of of making people undead or reincarnating because those are two of the possibilities, and the third one is just uh, God snaps their fingers and poof, there they are they're back again and no. I don't know how relevant any of those options are. Noted. Because now that I got to talking to that guy, it sounds like that's kind of the thing they're trying to do. And Seems like. I'll look into it. Yeah. Well, okay, thank you. Yeah, give me those those skill checks. Okay. Um, I'll start with, since Sky brought up, I, general... I like methods of reincarnating and pulling up a dead via occultism, I think. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be the first one. 
Um, because it takes, I think it's once per day. I can redo my spells. I have to look up, I don't remember. But I think it's once per day. I'm going to be there past midnight. Okay. And then I'm going to have to, like, sleep later. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm in full college student mode right now. I know. I have all these micro fish up, and I'm like... Uh, 30 on the occultism for the reincarnation and methods uh, regarding it. Okay, um, you would say based on what Texan shared with, um, with Thistle, mm -hmm. it is likely that, uh, Thistle's grandmother was reincarnated, um, but not through the normal cycle, because if, if, if her grandmother were reincarnated through the normal cycle, the answer would simply have been, well, her grandmother is dead. She is now reincarnated uh, through this cycle into a new living person. She's um, now a being. Congratulations. <laughs> um, and... <laughs> it's what she would have always wanted. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so what you think may have happened is... Um, someone or something was able to find a way to manipulate the cycle of reincarnation. What are the signs of manipulation, and do I see that in any of the world events? Uh, okay. Um, you need... You need witches <laughs> in order to do it. <laughs> Interesting! We have a whole prison full of them! Um, so a, a witch Great. is is a very, very important part of that because a witch is someone who understands how to manipulate energy that comes from a deity. Hmm, interesting. It's right. like they need us or something. <laughs> right. So, um, <laughs> yes, uh, in order to go through that process, yes, a witch is likely very important. Possibly multiple witches working together on the same event. Um, the same task. <clears throat> Otherwise, I, I don't know if you would really think of anything else that is like a key ingredient. Um, the, the witch themselves would kind of know what they need to do in order to make that happen. Um, they do or do not, sorry. They would need to, or they, they kind of they know what they would need in order to, to do that kind of magic. Um, is it stronger if there's a, a, a multiple witches under a single deity? Um, yes, you would you would okay. think that it is. I mean, cool. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it doesn't necessarily explain the witch jail, but we can get there. Um, uh, I would like to make a... Flavor-wise, I'd like to use heraldry, but my society has a bigger modifier. Okay. But the thing I wanted to do is heraldry again is like symbols and emblems of power and large families and that sort of thing. Looking for again, dog whistle is not the word I want, but that's technically what I'm doing. Like signs of like them in like the local papers of where they're listed and where they're not listed of like, oh, this means Yarali activity. And then what does that point to so on and so forth? Yeah. Um, so it seems that the Yarlies have been very active in the past year, socially. Oh, wait. Sorry, I should roll. You should roll. Yes. yes. 23. 23. So yeah, they, they have been pretty active in the past year. Um, as to whether or not they're just showing good face or as to whether they're showing good face for like political reasons or they're trying to cover something up or they're trying to make um, relations with other powerful parties. It's kind of unclear, but um, they do seem to be unnaturally involved. Like, more than they were in previous the previous five, six years. They are more active now. Is there like a general 
genre of stuff that they're involved in? Is there like an area they're working at? Is there a department? Is there like a... Um, they're kind of dabbling in everything. Uh, you see them kind of reaching out to farmers and being extra supportive of the farmers around. You see them reaching out to the um, the miners and the, um, the people who are, you know, finding the ore that helps them be a successful family. Um, you see them performing a lot of, like, celebratory functions for political guests and hosting a lot of events. Uh, they've been very active, but as far as, like, a pattern, it's really hard to find anything specific. They seem to be kind of doing anything and everything that they can to be involved in a positive manner. And also, at the head of all of it, is Shalia Yarlai. Are they trying, is it, is it that they're trying to ma- cultivate a, like a certain image? Is that the sense it I'm seems, getting? It seems like that is the case, yes. Are they just trying to look um, char- charitable? In some cases, in other cases, I think they're trying to look like they are uh, not just charitable, but like supportive of the plight of the everyday worker. They're um, supportive of the the efforts that that the people go through to keep the kingdom safe. They're supportive of like the people who would be disillusioned. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Well, figure that out as well. Mm-hmm. Um. Now that we have a library, one year back, anything, eight months of, oh God. I'm sorry, I'm like just grabbing the wheel and just moving this car. Oh, you're Uh, okay. I mean, we've kind of all been taking turns doing that this session, so. Yeah, sometimes that's how (laughs) sessions go and that's okay. Yeah. I guess society, I don't see history on here. Yeah, society would encompass history as well in in most cases. Looking with for patterns within the past year now that I have access to documents. Um, 32. There have been strange weather occurrences in the northern part of Elea. Uh, there also have been <clears throat> a great deal of like. There's been a great deal of expansion from the kingdom of the Satra outward into the the severed wilds um and the expansion isn't expansion that is including everybody in in the kingdom it's like let's go ahead and send people out into the severed wilds clear out this area and make it safe for our workers to come in um and do something there so there are like lots of events of, of people or of of like big how do I put this um there are lots of like corporate um it, it kind of ties into the last piece but mm-hmm. there are lots of there's lots of is corporate it, movement um, is, is it corporate or is it more like political it seems movement. more corporate um, corporate, a little bit of politics in there too, but like pushing the mining operation right. and getting into mm. logging and that yes. kind of thing. Yeah, thank you. Mm. Like increasing resources. Yeah, like seemingly getting more resources from the severed wilds. Um, there has been an increase in, like I said, like strange weather events around the Satra. Um, um our. Are the things that this is a little abstract, but are the things that um, Yarlai doing um, t- taking more resources from the severed wilds, extra stuff? Is any of the things possibly symbolically encroaching on Wild Mother domain? 
Or all mother? Sorry. Um. Like our. Oh, this is a symbol. This thing is a symbol of the all mother, and then. Not nest. No, you don't. No. You don't notice many. You don't notice any instances of that. Mm. Um. Yeah. What other rolls are you doing? I get three more. <laughs> I don't know anything about storms. Um, can I just look general? I wish you were here. You're out a window. <laughs> Too bad. I'm asleep, bitches. You're, you're taking a nap. <laughs> Thistle um, is comfy in bed in dreamland. Anytime she's not sleeping in on the dirt outside, she is living it up. <laughs> I'm gonna on a piece of paper separate, I'm gonna write down all of like general weather patterns around the area that Thistle Branch mentioned before over the past the year before and like the year after the event. So if there's a pattern that maybe Thistle can figure something out. Okay. Um so I'm gonna do that, and then I can I just do a general? Yeah. Sorry, you're copying down the farmer's almanac. Yeah, I know. It's like I'm looking at this. It's like I don't know. It's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to farm. I'm just gonna copy it and take it all. I'm just gonna <laughs> maybe this. I I have my like third Red Bull. That's, what, <laughs> that's actually what Sivril has been doing this entire time. Is just copying down the almanac. Yeah. For for Thistle to review later. Oh my gosh. Um. It's, I feel I'm thinking about doing a general deep dive into the All Mother, just to see if I can know anything about her that could help this, because I have no clue how to figure out her connection with everything else without a religion check, which I'm not mm -hmm. very good at. Hmm. I think you would need a religion check. Yeah. If you want to investigate the All Mother. Um. Tuskete, help me. <laughs> okay, let's do religion. Let's see if I can read any of these religious books. You can do it. Thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> um, nice. You're looking around, trying to understand a bit more about the All Mother, and it's basic. I mean, everything that you find kind of points toward who she is, what she stands for. Um, nothing... Nothing about her, like, potentially making an army of little boys? <laughs> <laughs> nothing about that, no. Interesting, interesting. Well, when, well, when you put it like that, maybe maybe we are the bad guys. <laughs> Uh-oh. We lost Michaela. Oh, no. <laughs> Bye, um, Michaela. It is, it is past start time, technically. I know. Um... But I have two more. Cool. Rip. You're fine. There she is. Um, hello again. Welcome back. I have no idea how that happened. <laughs> um, yeah, what else are you interested blueprints, in? Blueprints, relevant blueprints of the area that we are infiltrating. Cool. Um, I think that you can give me a... Can I use society? Society or crafting? Society. 33. Yeah, um... This crypt was built 200 years ago in the year of this king. Uh... Following the death of... <laughs> so, a lot of... A lot of the Yarlai estates... Um... Yarlai homes, Yarlai mansions, they all have a basement. Uh, as far as you can mm -hmm. tell, uh, they all seem to have some sort of lower level... It's not really common up here because you don't really have a lot of like tornado type things or what have you. Um, it's like a wine cellar. Yeah, kind of like a wine cellar. Um, and they 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 have a lower level basically under the first floor. Um, and <clears throat> no telling how many acres the estate is. I mean, it's big. Um, 
I personally don't understand acres, uh, so I don't know if I could give you a good answer, but uh, it is it is large. Um, think of a wealthy person's mansion, um, whatever that is to you. Um, that is probably what you would imagine for this. Um, there's one major mansion, um, and then there are like smaller homes, and then, um, not smaller homes, but, like, there are homes that are also Yarlai, part of the Yarlai family's land. Um, the Yarlai family does own land all over the Zotra kingdom, and <clears throat> they seem to have a lot of sway. Um, the architecture that they build is typically very artistic, um, and like gothic um what else i'm looking up if i can find titles if i could find like oh this land was bought in this year and added to the state this year so i would oh. assume that there's stuff on that that's yeah real gr nitty gritty boring shit to see if i can like suss out what the the floor plans are uh give me a You know what? No, you don't need to give me a check for this. You do find something interesting. Um, you find a piece of land that was donated to the Yarlai family by a man named Benrar Benrin Dewcloud about three years ago. Really recent. Where's yeah. this land? How big was it? Um, it's pretty small, but it looks like something of a tribute, almost. Um, like a gift. It was, uh, gifted to the Arlai family. Um, that's all that it really explains. Where? Mm. Is it near the main estate? No. It's, like, in a more modest part of town. Um, okay. but it is in the capital. Is there an address? I think there would be. Okay. Yeah. Nothing in here that says that could be I am a prison. This this area could be a prison holding witches, aside from the cellar thing. Not really. Okay. Um out of curiosity, do is when sometimes when you're in a place of like a museum or something, you see plaques of people who've donated, mm -hmm. and um, it's it's to make people look good a little bit. Is the Yarlai name one of the people who've donated? Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I should actually amend kind of what I said. Um, there is a there is a prison in the Yarlai okay. estate that is in the bottom floor in the basement area. Um, and it is actually something that you can see walking down the street. Oh, um, okay. So, like, as you walk down the street, if you look down along the wall of the Yarlai estate, you can see bars that look to be the um, upper ceiling of the cells. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll make note of this. Um... Like the corner of the ceiling. Got it. Oof. I have one more, but let me read the text of this again. Um, instantly up to six. So if I don't use it now, I think it just fizzles out. Okay. So I can't save this one. Um, damn. Any suggestions from the group for the last one? If I, did I miss anything? Freebird. Oh wait, no, you're not taking those kinds of requests. Yeah, unfortunately, that wouldn't get me anything. <laughs> she just can't sing. <laughs> no. Uh, what really about like? Point. I I think Remy would be interested in knowing a little bit about the magic uh, that surrounds the area. Mm. Okay. Good choice. I can do that one. Um, I'm assuming that's going to be Arcana. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Will occultism work or does it have to be arcana? I think arcana is going to be the one. Okay. 32, max. 32. Uh, you take a look at uh, a number of different books surrounding magic and Elean magic and magic in the Severed Wilds. It looks like um, what, from what you can see, the Yarlheim family is closely tied to magic, and they are closely tied specifically to witchcraft. Um, this family is very, uh, very loyal to, um, their, their patrons, and they have a, like, they have ceremonies for all of the witches in their family who be become witches, um, that is specific to their family, um, and it's a very, like, insular, kind of, uh, exclusive ceremony, mm -hmm. um, and to become a witch in the Yarlai family is considered a very... prestigious thing, accomplishment. Um, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do I get a general sense of um, the temperament of everyone? I'm reading a lot about the Yara lies. Yeah. Um, you seem... I think the most that you find is about Shalia. Mm-hmm. And Shalia is very, seems to be a, a well-tempered woman. Uh, she seems very calm, very level-headed. Um, as far as you can tell, she seems very generous and very compassionate to others. Um, she does have a, like, a high set of expectations for her family and for the people that work for her. Um, but she is very, like, a lot of people describe her as a very good person to work for. Sure, okay. Yeah. Um, she has a history of, like, philanthropy. Um, imagine, like, Miss America, almost. Okay. Except, um, not as focused on, like, the beauty aspect of it more so focused on the, um... It's like a girl boss? Yeah. Yeah. But she's, uh... very... well-rounded. Mm-hmm. So... She also has the gaslighting gatekeep, I got it. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, what was that? The ga gaslight gatekeep? Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Um... So... In all of your, like, in all of your reading, I, I think you get a good sense of um, who Shalia is. Girl, this is over three freaking pages for me. <laughs> I'm so sorry for my world. No, building. it's not you. It's no, me. I asked the questions. So fruitful, <laughs> and I just have so much proof. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you 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 gain a lot of. It. And you begin to understand quite a bit more. Um, and as you return for the evening, it I is. I return at four in the morning. I am. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, I think the scouts would have set out earlier than that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But you return to a mostly empty house. Sivirul is with you. Sivirul, I think, actually went home early. Um, and uh, went to bed, but oh, he's old. He's old, but you do see uh, Qatar there. You see Sagafa there. You see Thistle Branches there. Um, and oh no, I mean, Qatar is not the... there. They're all gone. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we would all be. Well, no, I'd are. be gone. Yeah, yeah okay. Sagafa would be gone. So it's a, it's Qatar's a pretty empty on a date. house. Yeah, it's a pretty empty house. Um, Qatar should have been done by his day for now. He needs the scout. <laughs> he's not to come back. <laughs> Well, um, here's here's a, here's a question. How good did the date go? Do we well, want you to funny. just... We'll find out next it. week on Tales of the Witch Floyd. <laughs> there it is. That's the cliffhanger. Um, thank you all. We do have to wrap it up. I have a, another game that I gotta get to.
Um, <laughs> but I hope you have a wonderful night. Thank you so, so All much. Right. It was super fun to play with y'all. Um, and it was fun to have our viewers here as well. Thank you, everybody. Go out a limb. Go out on a limb. Ask out your crush. Yeah. Ask out your crush. If Qatar can do it, you can do it. You've been waiting for a sign. This is it. Tell Good them night. you're sorry that this is so forward, but you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't catch them at work, though. Don't catch them at work, though. That's not good. And if you do, make sure you apologize. Yeah. And tip your hat. And tip your hat. Be a lizard. Be a, be a lizard. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>